Hello, closet collaborators. Today is Monday. Therefore, you get to see me make a video. <laughs> Today's, today, this week's topic is coping. And it's something that we all do. And it's very subconscious. And we all have our own ways of doing it. And most of our ways aren't exactly the best ways to do things. Um, but there are, also, there are a lot of good ways to cope out there, so we more or less just need to figure them out. Um, but before I get started on that, I wanted to introduce a quote to everybody, and I'm actually going to end on a quote as well. Um, I just like them, and I don't have any of the author's names. I don't know who names them, but they're not mine. Um, to exist is to change. To change is to mature. And to mature is to go on creating one's self endlessly. And I think that right there is a really good quote, especially for this topic. Um, I actually went online and did a little bit of research on coping and mechanisms of coping. And um, they actually have a full list of them. I was thinking about reading them all, but I think it would take like five minutes to do it. And that would be wasting time. <laughs> um, but if you guys are looking forward to learning more about your coping skills and other ways to handle them, um, you can go to changingminds.org. And um, they have a lot of stuff on there. Good information. Um, like straight to the point stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do is basically bring up to you a couple of mechanisms that I personally use, and I know that they're not the best coping mechanisms, but they help me out in the moment, not so much in the long term, but definitely in the moment they help, and I really think I'm going to be able to use, I'm glad this was a topic because I actually went forth and found information on it, which I think might actually help me in the future and dealing with things in a better manner. Um, but two coping mechanisms that I think kind of go side by side that I use a lot is projection and altruism. Projection is seeing your own unwanted feelings in other people, and altruism is helping others to help self. And how I find myself using this a lot is more or less by helping people on a regular basis in my daily life and on YouTube and any other way that I can. Um, I notice myself helping more people with problems that I have with myself but have yet to conquer. Um, why I think I do this is because I'm much better at giving advice to other people than I am at taking my own advice and actually putting it into action. Um, so what I do is, subconsciously, I find people who need the same help that I need. And regardless if they can give me any support back, I'm willing to help these people conquer their problems and situations and stresses that are there. Um, and after I see, after I help them through their situation, I look back on myself in my own problem that relates to theirs and whether or not that conclusion or that fix to that problem would be able to help me. Sometimes it doesn't, but most of the time I would have to say if I could take that advice and use it for myself, then I'd be much better off. Um, if only I could do that to help myself first. I might even be even better at helping these people, but I can't do it. <laughs> um, another thing that, another coping mechanism that I use is disassociation. And that's separating oneself from parts of your life. And the parts of my life that I disassociate myself with is my family. And my distant family, not my sister, my mom, or my dad. Um, but, like, my grandparents and some of my aunts and uncles and some of my cousins, I just really can't bring myself to go see them on my own terms. Like, 
I don't even really go to holiday things anymore just because people haven't seen, my family hasn't seen me in so long, and I'm such a, I don't want to say I'm a different person, but I look so different, I sound different, um, I have a different name, I use different pronouns. To them, I'm a whole new person. I'm a completely different person to them. And I really can't bring myself to go see them because it's just not comfortable. It's like, it's almost as if, to me, they're different people because they see me as such a different person. Like, my outlook on them is just completely different because I'm constantly thinking about how they're looking at me. So it makes it, it makes for a very awkward situation. And I highly disassociate myself from these people and these situations. And it's not the greatest way to do it at all. I honestly wish that I could bring myself to call up my aunts and uncles and my cousins and my grandparents and just see how they're doing. But I know that when I call and say, hey, this is Jace, they're going to say, who the hell is that? And if they already know, they're, they're not even going to feel like they're talking to the same person because my voice is deeper and it's just the last time they heard me and saw me, I was girly. I really wasn't a hip. I can't, no, I lied. can't really say I was girly, but I was attempting to be girly, and I had long hair and tried dressing in girly clothes, and they knew me as a lesbian because I had a girlfriend, and I used to bring my girlfriend to all the family things. And it's just, it's such an awkward situation that I feel like the only way I can cope with it is to disassociate myself with them. Um, let's see, I have one more that I like to put out there. There's a ton of these mechanisms that I use, but the other one that I find myself using most of all is self-harming, physically damaging the body. And I don't particularly, like, cut myself or bash my head off walls when I need to cope with something, but what I do is I smoke cigarettes to relieve my stress. And, for instance, like, a good example right here, I was at work yesterday dumped over a huge box of little labels that we had and they were all in elastics like they were in bundles but the elastics were so old that all of them just split and all of them went everywhere there was seriously like thousands of labels on the floor and i didn't even i once like i heard this the crash looked up to see where the thing had fallen from saw what it was and didn't even look down at it I threw my hands up and walked outside, and I said, well, I went to my boss, and I said, I'm going to smoke a cigarette, and then I'm going to go clean up the mess that I just made. I don't even want to look at how bad it is, so I suggest not going in there until I clean it up. And <laughs> it was kind of funny. That I'm glad they took it the way that they did and understood where I was coming from. But why should I have to smoke a cigarette before I clean up a stack of paper? I don't know, but I was frustrated, and that was my way of not being frustrated. And it's killing me because it's it's harming the inside of my body, and that's coping should not be help, like hurting you. It should be helping you. Um, and along with like excessively drinking, um, that by no means helps anybody. And it's nice to go out for an occasional drink, but if I have a bad day, I definitely excessively drink. And I mean, it's not that I can't control it, but I don't want to control it because it helps me cope. And it's, it's just a horrible way to go about it. Um, I didn't exactly go through these lists of things and figure out exactly what I could do to make better coping choices. Um, but I think the best thing that anybody could do is just be rational and try and think about what you're doing almost all the time. And... Just think about it. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'm just going to try and think about the things that I'm doing. Do I really need to do this in order to cope with this situation? Hmm. I think. I don't know. Um, but i got to get out of class, and thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to end this with another quote. And until next week, peace out. Love you guys. Um... Nothing makes its way by winning over and converting its opponents. What happens is opponents usually die out. This quote for me is specifically favorited to the LGBT community. And 
listen to it again and think about it because it makes a lot of sense. Much love.